Hey guys, it's Ollie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I am doing a video that was requested a couple times by people. Um, it is just going to be a simple guide of how to clean your snail enclosure properly. So I'm just going to be going through some of the basics. I'm also going to be going through more deep clean type of stuff, turning the soil, all of that sort of stuff. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so let's start out with some simple things that you are going to need for this. Of course, you are going to need some paper towel or some kind of reusable cloth. Make sure it is clean, no harsh chemicals on it, of course. You're going to need your spray bottle or some kind of water source. Of course, if you use tap water, you should use Reptisafe or some other type of dechlorinator. We do have chlorine in our water and that can be harmful for the snail. Uh, you can also just use spring water. I use tap, so I have some of this. Also, don't forget another enclosure uh, to make sure that your snail does not get away from you. And honestly, this is the base stuff you need. So let's go ahead and get right into it. We are going to be doing this with my smaller enclosure here. This only houses one snail. Uh, his name is Snailbus Presley. This is just getting really messy. You can see on the sides, he's pooped. He has dirt all over it. It's just a good time to do a decent clean. So normally what I do whenever I just do a daily spot clean is I will, if it gets really bad, I'll wipe down the sides. Um, I will try to just put, like remove any poop or anything like that. But when it gets bad like this, um, I like to just take everything out and give it like a rinse. But uh, we will see how bad things look and whatnot. So let's just go ahead and remove our snail first and foremost. Here is Snellvis Presley. I don't know if it's going to be blurry or not, but there he is in all of his glory eating some squash I put in there this morning. So like I said earlier, you should use a separate enclosure, but uh, I don't have one and I'm already set up. So uh, we're just gonna hope that he stays on here and I'll be keeping a close eye on him. I don't use any harsh chemicals on my desk. So if he crawls off here onto my desk, I'm not too worried about it. First of all, you're going to start with taking out your decor here. So I remove everything when I'm doing a nice deep clean like this. And I also check the sides of it to make sure there's no eggs or pests or anything like on the decor. Luckily, I'm not seeing anything in here. So now that everything is removed, we are just going to turn the soil. Some people like to rinse off the sides first and then turn the soil. I personally like to turn the soil first because I will get more dirt on the side as I turn the soil. So it just makes it easier for me personally, but you just do whatever you feel like you want to do. Um, post filming, Ollie here to mention something I forgot about. Uh, the person that requested this video asked about ice pods and springtails. Now, I do not have any in this enclosure at this moment. If you do have ice pod and springtails, turning the soil really shouldn't harm them. Just don't be overly aggressive with it. Try to be gentle, um, just like you would be looking for eggs and you'll be okay. Still turn the soil. It is still important to do that. They will be fine. I will say that by the way that, uh, isopods will eat normally will eat snail eggs, so just keep aware of that. So I am not expecting eggs, and I don't keep any eggs that my snails produce. So I'm being a bit careless here, as you can see. If you are looking for eggs, my advice would be before you start turning, you want to look around the bottom and look around along the sides to see if maybe your snail has laid eggs conveniently for you to see. Now, if they haven't done that, that's okay. Um, you can still check. I would just do it a bit more lightly than I'm doing it here. Since it does take roughly two weeks for snail eggs, garden snail eggs to hatch, typically that's not with every species. That's just how often I like to check. So now that I've turned the soil, as you can see, I've pretty much, I've been kind of squeezing it and that's just to make sure that it is the right, uh, consistency, I suppose. The moisture level you want your soil to be is you're going to grab yourself a handful here and you're going to squeeze it. And as you can see, it's not dripping. So that means it's not too wet. If it does drip, it means it is too wet. You also want it to hold its shape. Um, if it doesn't hold its shape like that, then it's too dry. I am not going to do any partial changes. 
you should not do a full change of soil because it can send your snail to shock. They need the old substrate for a healthy gut biome as well. So it's just healthy to keep some of the old soil in there. You can do a one third change. So if I wanted to, I could take out like a third of the soil and uh, replace it with new soil and then mix it all up again. But I don't need to do that. This is relatively new soil, well, new, relatively rotated, I suppose, soil. So we're all good on <laughs> on the soil. I know that was a lot just for the substrate, but. All right, so now what we're gonna do is take our paper towel. I like to give just a little bit of a spray, makes it a little bit more sticky, and fold this up like this. I like to go across and just kind of down, cleans it pretty nicely. So now that all of that's off, and again, we're just using basic water with some dechlorinator in it. You don't want to use any harsh chemicals or anything like that. You do not want to use any chemicals around your snail. Okay, so now we're going to start putting our decor back. A lot of these needed a rinse, so as you can see, I did go and give this one a rinse at least. So I just put Snelvis back, he's probably going to come out and try to climb everywhere. I put this piece of squash in here this morning, so it has had its stay, it's been eaten on. I'm going to go give it to some roaches now and give my snail some protein mix. Alright, and if you feel so inclined, you can give them a mist, just a little one. That is pretty much it. Um, and after that, you have successfully cleaned out your snail enclosure. Guys, well, that was pretty much all for today's video. I hope that it helped you in some way or at the very least entertained you. Don't forget to go follow me over on Instagram. Link is down in the description below as well as my art account. I do custom digital pet pictures, so go check me out over there. I also have a Facebook group you can join if you are interested. It's just a place where we can get advice, talk about pets, share pictures, all that sort of stuff. Of course, as always, like this video for the algorithm. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are into this kind of content or really any animal kind of content. I upload every single Friday at 3 p.m. Easter Standard Time, but you can hit the bell if you don't want to remember that. And as always, I will see you guys next week. Bye.